ain't gonna repair us ever again. That's the thing. We gotta make sure we give ourselves away to God truthfully. That's right. You understand? You understand that, sisters? You understand that? Like, if we say we agree, right? With um, dash and not kill, dash and not steal. That's in the same testament. Right. How y'all sisters doing, man? What's your name? Melandra. Melandra. What's your name, sis? Tamisha. Okay. Nice to meet you. Where is United Christ? We're out here actually telling that these people on this side right here are the Israelites. So where do you see yourself on this side right here? Point to yourself. Give me numbers 1 and 18. Go ahead. Point to yourself. We ain't going to bite you. Where you see yourself on that side? Point where you are. The first one, what about you? Judah. Okay. All right. So your father is a so-called American black, right? Is your father from America? Is he a black man? Okay, that means you're American black. That's that means you're from the tribe of Judah. That's right. Okay? So my question is this. My next question to you is, point at Jesus. I want you to point at Jesus. Show me which one is Jesus. I want to see. Jesus. Which one they point at? Let's get up a little bit. Caesar. Okay, so that's Jesus, right? You'll bet your bottom dollar on it. That's Jesus. Okay, give me numbers. I mean, Revelations 1 and 1. Bring it out. Today, what you're going to learn today is that Jesus Christ is not a white man. That's right. You're going to learn it. I know in your churches, I know maybe Big Mama has told you, baby, it ain't no color in the Bible. You're going to learn color today. That's right. Read what the Bible says. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. And understand this. This is what's going to get our people over the hump. To actually see themselves in the greatest book on the planet. That's right. Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. That's what revelation means, okay? Read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So, we're about to show you what Jesus Christ looks like. Verse 14. Verse 14. His hair and his head. Read it slow, brother. His what? His hair and his hair. His head. And his hair, so meaning the hair on his head and the hair on his face, read, were white like wool. White and woolly. Which picture on there got woolly hair? Bring it up. The white man you pointed to that ain't got woolly hair, do it. So the Bible said Jesus Christ had woolly hair. That's right. Read. As white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. So you ever see X-Men? Does that mean that Jesus Christ shoot laser beams out his eyes? No. That means that his eyes shall be red with wine, according to Genesis 49, verse 12. Read that right quick. Genesis chapter 49, verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. His eyes shall be red with wine. So which one of these images have red eyes? The one that you put that have blue eyes. We're reading about Jesus. We're reading the description of Jesus Christ. Read. You got to listen to this. Pay attention. Pay attention. They're coming to listen just like y'all. Read. And his feet. So now, so now, so now, sister, 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 the color of your feet matches the same color as your body, right? Right? What about you, right? And his feet is like what? We're reading about Jesus Christ. We're going to see what color Jesus is. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? What color is brass? Does anybody know what color brass is? Brass is a derivative of brown. That's right. Let's see if he was light skinned. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. So if you took that brass and burnt it, if you take anything and burn it, what color is going to come out? So what is Jesus Christ? A black man. That's, That's right. right. Jesus Christ is a black man. Let's get some more. Give me Daniel chapter 10 verse 5. Bring it out. Let's get some more. Let's, maybe we have to actually see ourselves in the Bible so the other nations can stop lying to us. Sisters, can I ask y'all a question? Where are you from? Orlando, what tribe you see yourself is right here? Come point at your tribe. What you two sis? Y'all gotta stick around. They gotta stick around. Do, do y'all go to church? Do y'all walk off from the pastor when he's talking? So why are you walking off from us? We read the Bible too. Right. Understand this. You're not supposed to always follow people. One of these days you're gonna have to live for yourself. And stand up for what you believe in. Because there's a reason why you still standing here and your friend walked off. It's the reason why you're still standing here. You don't know her? Oh, why are you walking? Why are you following her then? When you gonna come back and listen to the Bible then? You don't know? Make sure you get a fly again, okay, sis? All right. All right, sis, where you, where you see your, uh, your tribe at? 
They're American black. They're American black. Your father is American black. Okay, so that means you're from the tribe of Judah. That's right. So let. So do you know what tribe Christ came from? No. Give me Hebrews seven. Hebrews seven. Let's see. So remember, we just read and went over that Christ is a black man, right? We remember we read that Christ is a black man, right? So if Christ is a black man and you are a person of color, you say you're from the tribe of Judah. Let's see what tribe Christ is from. Are you listening? Yeah. All right. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. It's evidence in the Bible that God gave, uh, I mean the, uh, the son came out of the tribe of Judah. That's right. Judah, let's see what color Judah is. Give me Jeremiah 14 too. Bring it out. Jeremiah 14 too. Point at Jesus. Have him point at Jesus. Which one is Jesus? Point at it. Which one is Jesus? Where do you see that one in? Where do you see that one? over there on the side? Where do you say he is? Who is that? Over there with the, the, uh, the dark image. Who is that? That's Jesus over there? Sis, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm, I'm reading it. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm... <laughs> which one is Jesus? Okay, so what, which one did your son say? He didn't say nothing. I just told him Okay, okay. I'm about to read another scripture to you. Right, sis. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. This is what Judah looks like. We read that Jesus Christ came from the tribe of Judah. We're going to see what color the Jews are. Read. Judah mourner and the gates thereof language. They are black unto the ground. Okay. Hey, brother, what we're reading right now is color in the Bible. Color. Is it color in the Bible? Is it color in the Bible? Yeah, is it color at all in the Bible? Well, I know it speaks of Moses is dark and homely. Okay. Of, uh, that's, that, that's Solomon. David is, uh, huh? That's Solomon that's black and comely. Black and comely with Moses. With Moses. Give me Psalm Solomon 1 and 5. Watch you know, this. I'm, I'm going to read the scripture for you. David was ready. Ready, meaning, meaning a fair complexion. No, he didn't have red skin. Well, David was a blemish. fair complexion. Yeah, no blemishes. You know what I'm saying? Ready doesn't mean red. The white man put that there to think that one of our forefathers looked like them. Right. Ready don't mean red. They changed up that definition in the dictionary, so I, I, I know what you're talking about. Let's see what who was black and covered. Read. Song of Solomon. So verse one. Verse one. The Song of Solomon, which is Solomon. So this is Solomon's book. Solomon speaking. Verse 5. Verse 5. I am black, but come. Solomon was black and coming. So, okay. Well, if you want to go with that too, I, I, I can ride with that too. I just go with the Bible. My question is this. What tribe do you come from? Judah, right? Okay, okay, okay. I am that I am. That's I it. am that means that he, he's not confined to the dogma of any religion. Well, he's understand saying. this. The, the father has never given his people religion the first, in the first yeah, that's right. Right. Well, I, I understand that. That's what I'm saying. So my question is this. You don't follow religion, right? Okay, we don't follow religion either, so we're on the same page. Can I get a doubt? Okay, what? Okay, well, I'm ask you a question of this. Do you believe we got to keep God's commandments? Okay, so can I give you a commandment as your brother? To show you where you off right now? Bring it out. I don't think you can uh, you can only speak from your understanding of what you believe. Let me read the scripture to you right quick. Leviticus 1917. I can only walk in my understanding. I don't my walk speaks for me. And then give me Acts 8 and 30. I walk in the temple and everything I do. Well let me let me read the scripture to you right quick. Let me let me let me stop speaking. Let you stop speaking. Let's let's see what God says about that. But this is what God says. Well, let's see. This is his word. Read. Leviticus nineteen seventeen. Acts chapter Leviticus 19:17. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So, for example, let's say that you started to walk into traffic, and I didn't yell, "Hey, get out the way!" I hate you because I was going to allow you to get hit by a car. Right. The Bible says to warn your people so you don't hate them. Read. In any wise rebuke thy neck. What does the word rebuke mean? No, rebuke means to correct. So you should any wise rebuke your neighbor. You're my neighbor. So I have the right by God, if I'm following it and walking in his footsteps, to help my brother when he's off. Right. Let's read on. And not suffer sin upon him. I can't let you be in sin. 
I'm not ordained to let you be in sin because if I know something, I got to pass it on to you. Now let me deal with someone teaching you, okay? Acts chapter 8. Bring it up. Yes. I didn't hear that. Read. Acts chapter 8 verse 30. Start at verse yeah, 30. And Philip ran thither to him. The him is the Ethiopian unit. Philip was sent to an Ethiopian unit that was reading the book of Isaiah. You listen? Read. And heard him read the prophet Isaiah. And said, he said this to the man that was reading the Bible. Understandest thou what thou readest? Do you understand what you're reading? Let's see what the brother said. And he said, how can I? Except some man should guide me. So somebody has to guide us in the scriptures. Somebody has to correct us. That's what it means to love your brother. Love is correction. So I'm not judging you. I'm judging righteous judgment. I like what you said, because you said something about judgment. How y'all brothers doing? Right, real? Hold on, real quick. I want to get one more scripture for you. Give me Sirach 45, 26. Bring it on, brothers. I want y'all to look at this sign and tell me what, what tribe you come from, all right? This is very important information that y'all brothers need to know. Watch this. Well, let me get one scripture. Hold on, hold on. It's going to take a few seconds. Read that. Sirach, chapter 45, verse 26. Watch it out. God gives you wisdom. God gives us wisdom, right? We all understand that. God gives us wisdom to do what? In your heart to judge his people. To do what? To judge his people. The Most High gave us wisdom in the law, in the Bible, to judge his people. That's so right. guess what? If I see you in error according to the word of God, okay, now, God gave us the wisdom to judge you and tell you to get right. That's now, I can't condemn you, but I can judge you according to what the law is in the Bible. Read it again from the top. God gives you wisdom uh -huh. in your heart uh -huh. to judge his people. To judge his people what? In righteousness. And what? In righteousness. Now, brother, what's righteousness according to the Bible? You know what I want. Deuteronomy, hold that. We're going to get what righteousness is. Did y'all, brother, see where, where y'all descend from on the side? Where y'all from? Benjamin. Benjamin. All praise to the Most High. Watch this. I'm going to show y'all something in the Bible. I'm going to show you how. Think on this for a second. What does God think about you and the rest of our people? The ones that's in the uh, tribe of Benjamin. What is God's thoughts, according to his word, about his people? Think about that. I'm going to come to y'all. I want y'all to give me an answer. Read that again. Uh, read Deuteronomy 6, 25. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 25. Read. And it shall be our righteousness. So he said to judge in righteousness. Let's see what that is. If we observe to do all these commandments. If we what? Observe to do all these commandments. So our righteousness is the commandments of God. Yes, Go right. back to where you were and finish that verse. Sirach 45. Sirach, Sirach chapter 45 verse 26. Read. God give you wisdom in, in your heart to judge his people uh -huh. in righteousness. Uh -huh. That their good things be not abolished. You see, that the good things be not abolished. We have to judge you or correct you to make sure that you understand God's law still stands. That's, right. That's why we do that. Read. And that their glory may endure forever. And that you may get the kingdom, brother. Because without the commandments, you're not getting the kingdom. That's right. According to thus saith the Lord. You understand? Right. Watch this. So if you got time, still listen to us. So you don't have time for the Bible. I don't have time. I don't read the Bible for the Bible. I read it for the God of the Bible. I don't have it. I'm real you met him. I have, yes. I have a personal You met God. Give me 1 John 12 and 4. Give me 1 John 12 4. No, no, no. Come on, brother. Hold on, no, 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 no. No, no, If you believe that this is the word of God, it behooves you to want to know what God said. Give me 1 John 2 and 4. He said he met God, he know God. Watch this. 1 John chapter 2, verse 4. Listen to that. Y'all heard what he just said, brother. Now listen. Remember, he's going off his own mind. Let's see what God's word says. Read. He that saith, I know him, uh -huh. and keepeth not his commandment, uh -huh. is a liar. The Bible oh, says he's a liar. Right. That's right. That's right. And the truth is not in him. And the laws of the Most High is not in him. The true man of God. We are not black men, we are the Israelites.
working so hard to serve God And why when I say that I'm a Jew it sound odd For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it sound wrong, man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.